Well, I am Ava Ludeman, and I think I am probably the only rag rug weaver in 2,000 miles. Not many people will take it on. You can take a workshop in rag rug weaving, but until you get into all the steps, it takes, it's not just the weaving. You could probably weave a foot an hour, but it's the preparation that takes hours. Are these colors are in this rug. This Uh -huh. I beat off bullshit. Uh -huh. I've done a lot of towels and other kinds of weaving, but rag rugs are uh, a more complicated system, and it really helps to have some prior knowledge, <laughs> and you learn it's all the job training with rag rugs. It's easy to sit with your scissors and cut sheets. You can do lots of things while you're cutting the sheets. That's simple. Uh, sewing them together. Uh, those are all simple tasks. The hardest part is getting the right string through the right harness. There are 420 threads, and if you have a mistake in the middle, <laughs> Then you've got to pull it all out and put it all back. Well, what's the best part? What's the reward? Oh, putting the legend on <laughs> the tag. <laughs> the legend, this is a uh, rose path pattern rug. Uh, it's a famous old pattern that weavers have used for years. And the legend on this is uh, my rug this rug has rough edges like us. It wears colors that don't match like me. There are some loose threads that are not sure where they go like us sometimes. The lines are uneven. Our lives often do not go in straight lines either. the shuttle through and then you change and it changes the pattern and these two foot pedals uh, control this shuttle and then the other shuttle is this color and so I have an abacus here so I count one, two, was a rug that my grandmother made and it's called a hit or miss. She was a good Mormon lady raised in Utah 
And those girls growing up and those families had to do everything from scratch. And as I knew her, she had an old metal loom on her porch. And she cut rags and wove rag rugs. She, because you had a lot of rags and I could, I remember sitting on the floor as a, a three or four year old and watching her move the, the, the harnesses up and down. And it clanked and clanked because it was all metal. And <laughs> made a big racket. It shook the whole porch. <laughs>